I cannot control uh, Biden, but I can control me. I didn't think it was going to get this bad. You know, so it's gotten a lot worse than I imagined. So is it going to get worse? Possibly. But I'm, pre I'm preparing for it, not, not, you know, hiding in a bunker, if you know what I mean. My latest book coming out in November is called The Capitalist Manifesto. It's how we can counter communism taught in schools by teaching capitalism in our homes. And see, that's where I learned about capitalism. I learned about capitalism at home, mm -hmm. not at school. I learned communism at school. But the media is now completely, as you know, on the dark side. I am fighting for capitalism because capitalism is about freedom. You can be a communist if you want, but don't take my freedom away. So what's going on with the Fed? The Fed has got no power. There's a shadow, the European shadow bank system. It's got more power, but the Fed issues is, you know, they call it fourth, you know, you watch CNBC. And I sit there watching that garbage. You know, they say, well, you know, the Fed's going to do this, the Fed's going to do that. The Fed's got no power. But what they're trying to get us to believe is that there's inflation. It's really what's happening is we're in depression. I, I talk about gold, silver, Bitcoin, not because I'm a gold, silver, Bitcoin fan. I just don't trust the Fed, the Treasury, and Wall Street. I buy stuff that's outside their system. I think people should pay attention. That's why I love YouTube, you know, because I get real teachers and a lot of them are fakes. But this is the enemy here. This is $10. It says $10 billion. Where's that from? From which country? Uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, okay. And this is, I want people to see this is because this is the future of the dollar. If you understand that, that's why they have been paying people not to work. It just printed $10 trillion to, tr to prevent the economy from collapsing. So the reason I re recommend gold, silver, Bitcoin and YouTube and listening to guys like you and Gamma and all this stuff, you've got to have people who are playing with, this, with the cards and you, know, you can see their cards. Most of, most of these guys, like they just caught the Fed for insider trading. I mean, these guys are PhDs like my poor dad. They're insider trading. They're supposed to be protecting us. But my point here is this. You've got to be aware. Be, you know, there's no answer. Just pay attention. And the reason I recommend gold over Bitcoin is because I trust Bitcoin more than I trust Biden. I don't trust the dollar. If you can understand that. I don't trust the Treasury and I don't trust Biden. Let's talk about the U.S. social credit score first. What do you think of that question? Well, I think it's called what surveillance capitalism. And that's why, you know, I, my friend has what Siri and Alexa and all that stuff. I want a, I want a little bit of that stuff around me as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I know they're tracking. I know they're going to track us on this program. And that's called censorship, if you know what I mean. And it's the worst thing is self-censorship. There's always the outside. You know, we cannot control the outside that well, but we can control this inside my own brain, my own emotions, my own spirituality and my own physicalness. I can control me. So I'm a leader inside of me. I didn't think I was going to get this bad. You know, so it's got a lot worse than I imagined. So is it going to get worse? Possibly. But I'm, pre I'm preparing for it. Not not, you know, hiding in a bunker, if you know what I mean question is what's going on inside and that's why you guys have helped me i've helped with other with money problems but that's that's why it's education but you got to take care of yourself inside the reason stocks are better than real estate okay let's say i buy amazon or apple let's say it's a hundred bucks if it goes down i can i can exit that fast it's, it's called liquidity the true real estate is not liquid so if you buy at the height of a market you're the skipper of the Titanic. You're going to go down with it because you can't get out. So that's the word is called liquidity. It's financial literacy. What does liquidity mean? Well, how fast can you exit? So with real estate, the reason I like real estate is that I use 100% debt and I pay no taxes. So I've got to be 10 times smarter because I'm using 100% debt. And if that baby comes down, you know, there's going to be a second crucifixion because this time is going to be a Japanese guy, not a Jewish guy. You know, they're, they're going to hang me out to dry. My investors will. And what I say to Americans is that 
America was formed as a tax-free nation. It wasn't 1619 or whatever they say, 1610. America was founded in 1773 at the Boston Tea Party. They kicked all, they said, we're not going to pay taxes. And I've, I'm still a patriot because I still don't pay taxes because I use debt. And that takes a lot of study. And that's what I study. Is how do the rich really get rich using mm -hmm. debt and paying no taxes? Do you think Trump pays taxes? Of course not. I use 100% debt. Because every time I borrow money, money is created. And so because I use debt, the government gives me tax breaks. If you can understand that, every time I borrow, like say 30 million, I borrowed $30 million for a piece of property in Austin, Texas. I pay, they give me tax breaks because I'm using debt. And that's why this financial statement is crucial. So when I sit down with the banker and I show them I got all these properties, I have no dings against them. They're cash flowing. They'll give me more money. If you understand infinite, you don't need money. It's a complete different way of thinking, Rich. So that's so that's what I learned from my rich daddy. Because everybody says, well, I can't afford it and all this stuff. He says, no, you just don't have enough brain power. The point here is this, is that we're interconnected in this world as a global currency. We're in a shadow banking system has more power than the Fed or any central bank. And so the reason I support Bitcoin or crypto, the, th the, the process of it, is because the Fed, the Treasury, and Wall Street have no power anymore. And you better go, go to the power as quickly as you can. And the power sits up here, you know, and don't be a victim.